in the Safe Castle kitchen to show you some of the foods and cooking accessories that we offer. We're going to start with the Mountain House food pouches. They last seven years. They're great and lightweight for camping or hiking or for a bug out bag. And we move on to the Optimus Crux. The Weekender set comes with a little frying pan and a cooking pot there sitting on top of the Crux cooking stove. Shown there is a four ounce gas canister. Moving on to the Yoder's hamburger and Yoder's canned bacon. Yoder's offers a variety of canned wet pack meats. Mountain House number 10 cans have a shelf life of 25 to 30 years at room temperature and longer if refrigerated. There are 35 pre-cooked varieties, so it's not necessary to have boiling water for consumption. There are 10 to 12 servings per can, and generally speaking, one case will last one adult for one week. These are the same great tasting foods that everyone is used to eating. Both our culinary and veggie seed cans contain a variety of 16 non-hybrid, non-genetically modified seed packets. Feather canned butter and cheese stays good indefinitely and no refrigeration is required. Unroasted green coffee beans are the only effective way to store coffee for many years. This is a 12 can case of spices and seasonings that you would normally find in your pantry like salt and pepper, garlic powder, oregano, sage, and basil. This is a 12 volt slow cooker made by Road Pro, just one of many 12 volt offerings by Safe Castle. And we have it plugged into the Viking Loki solar power backup power supply. Here you see the inner workings of the Viking Loki. Draped over the top is a thin film fin solar foldable solar panel. Now this is what the freeze dried food looks like once you open the cans. Now once you open these cans you want to make sure you use the can up within a couple of weeks or the food will go bad. Your alternative is to dump the food into a mylar bag with an oxygen absorber and you can seal it up with a food sealer. Here I'm going to show you how to prepare a bowl of spaghetti. I've already got the water inside the bowl for mixing with the freeze dried food. Again with the servings you just want to follow the directions on the back of the can. It tells you exactly how much water and exactly how much food to put into the bowl for a serving. Once you have the correct amount of food in your bowl, you'll want to mix it up. Make sure you get all of the food mixed in with the water, uh, as well as the sauce. It'll be, the sauce is kind of a, a dry powder base, so you want to make sure all the sauce gets mixed in with the water so it reconstitutes. And then you need to cover it. You can use whatever you want to cover it. In this instance, I'm showing you that you can use just about anything to cover your bowl, in this case a notebook. Now most of the setup times are between 7 and 12 minutes, so again you want to make sure to check the back of the can to see how long to let it set up. Once you uncover it, just give it a good stir. And 
just like that, it's ready to eat. Now I'm going to demonstrate the blueberry cheesecake. Inside the blueberry cheesecake number 10 can, there are three sets of cheesecake mixtures. Each mixture makes four servings. Again, I already have the water inside my bowls. First up here is the blueberries. Now the can does say to use hot or warm water. Again, that's not necessary. You can use cold water. It works just the same. Give that a good stir. Again, you want to make sure that all the powder in there is mixed up with the water. That's going to give you a nice blueberry sauce as well as the actual blueberries. Once you have that all mixed up, mixed together, you're going to move on to the actual cheesecake mixture. Doing this at home, it would be much easier to use an electric mixer or even a whisk. However, I'm using a spoon to show you that you can use just about anything. You do just want to make sure, again, you want to reconstitute all that powder, get all that powder mixed in with the water. Okay, our cheesecake is thickened up. Now we can add the graham cracker crust topping. Once you got all that graham cracker crust topping on there, you can spread it out, give it a nice even coating, and then just dump the blueberries on top of the cheesecake. And if you prefer, you can actually mix it all together. It gives it a nice creamy texture, almost like a yogurt, and it tastes delicious.